हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर एस पी आई इंटरप ड्राइवर फॉर एस टी एम थर्टी टू न्यूक्लियो बोर्ड सो लेटेस्ट गेट स्टार्टेड स्टेप बाई स्टेप दिस इज एस टी एम थर्टी टू क्यूब आई डी आई विल क्रिएट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट गो टू न्यू एंड एस टी एम थर्टी टू प्रोजेक्ट सेलेक्ट I will select here nucleo board because of I am using nucleo F four one one R E and select this and next type here project name this is S P I interrupt and next and finish yes. Okay, now I will go to connectivity and click on SPI. Here, one pin of SPI is engaged with different peripherals, so I will go to A five and reset. Okay, now it it can be enabled. Full duplex master and enable hardware NSS output. It's on you. You can you can use hardware NSS means hardware chip select or another GPIO. You can use as a chip select. Okay. So now I will go to clock configuration. I will select here sixteen megahertz. Press enter. Okay. Now go to pin out and configuration. Here you can change the baud red by changing the prescaler. Okay, if you want to change to Mbps, then select it. It's depend on clock configuration, megahertz frequency. Okay, it's depend on frequency. and another thing everything is okay this is 8 bit data size msb first it is okay now go to nvix setting here enable the interrupt okay now go to project manager go to code generator and check this one because of uh, spi.c and spi.h file will be created okay now Save this project. Yes, yes. Okay, go to core. You can see here SPI dot C file is there. Okay, alls. Ah, uh, you can see here SPI pins are there. So for the testing purpose, I will solve. Mostly in Mizo pin means PS six and PS seven pin. Okay, so whatever I will send through Mosi, then it will receive on Mizo. Okay, because of I have no another slave devices. Okay, so uh, I will create here variable. It is unsigned in TX data. Okay, this data will be sent. I will receive into RX data. Okay, okay, and I will create another variable. It is for the counting purpose. so i will call here one function hall spi trans receiver 
interrupt function it is all underscore spi underscore trans okay and i will pass here address of spi handler and tx buffer and rx buffer and its size okay and now i will create here its handler i will create its handler here port to driver and hall driver spi related okay this is stm32 f4 x x underscore hall underscore spi dot c i'll copy this function and paste here remove everything and remove this keyword see when interrupt will occur then this function will be called okay so i will increase the count value now our code is ready you can see i have sorted this misu and mozi field okay so now our code is ready i will just save and build the code okay okay h s p i 1 okay because of i am using spi1 you can see it is there in spi.c file it is declare here okay okay now everything is okay build this code again okay now click on debug select the debugger here stilling and scan it is connected and apply them okay go to live expression there is rx data already i will copy the count variable if it will occur then its value will increase okay so i will debug step by step okay see its value is 0 0 it will be 1 2 3 4 5 when this line will be executed see this is rx buffer here the value received 1 2 3 4 5 okay and count variable is increased okay it means when receive and transmit is occurred then its uh, callback handler is called okay so uh, now i will paste into while loop and i will use here delay it is 1 second delay okay and save then again debug okay click on live expression expand this okay now i will resume the debugging and then you will see 
rx data will be 1 2 3 4 5 and count value will be increased 1 2 3 like okay so because of it will be executed into while loop with continuously with one second delay okay resume you can see count value is increasing because of this callback handler is this callback handler is called by this interrupt in each one second delay okay so friends i hope you enjoyed this video and you get understand if you if you really like this video so please do like subscribe and share thanks for watching